Pope Francis arrived in Nagasaki, bringing a message of peace and demanding world leaders end the use of nuclear weapons. 27,000 people were instantly killed when the city was devastated by a nuclear bomb at the end of the Second World War. The Pope laid a wreath at a ground zero memorial to victims of the bombing. It's the first papal visit to Japan in nearly four decades, with many Catholics waiting in the rain to hear his message. Convinced as I am that a world without nuclear weapons is possible and necessary, I ask political leaders not to forget that these weapons cannot protect us from current threats to national and international security. It's not the first time a pope has decried nuclear warfare. Pope St. John Paul II visited Hiroshima, emphasizing that society should be horrified by it. But Francis has gone further than those before him, saying it threatens humanity and the environment with catastrophic destruction, arguing the money could be better used elsewhere. In a world where millions of children and families live in inhumane conditions, the money that's squandered and the fortunes made through the manufacture, upgrading, maintenance and sale of ever more destructive weapons are an affront crying out to heaven. As well as giving Sunday Mass in the Nagasaki baseball stadium, the Pope is visiting Hiroshima, the site of the first atomic blast in 1945, where 78,000 people instantly died. And tomorrow he'll meet victims of the 2011 Fukushima nuclear disaster. His words are some of the most outspoken by a Pope in recent years. The question is whether world leaders will sit up and listen. Emma Birchley, Sky News.